So you see, God wants us to do the things first, by the way, that um, solidify and clarify our connection with Him, solidify and clarify our sense of who He is, so that when we're acting, we're truly acting in faith because we're believing who He is. And, and therefore, uh, I, well, let me give you a good example. You know, Jesus said, you know, you might be standing at the altar getting ready to give an offering, and you remember you've got something you need to settle with a brother. Leave your offering at the altar and go settle this first before you give your offering. Now, there's several important things in this. First of all, I said, leave your gift here. And the reason for that was because if you took your gift with you, there's a high probability you'd go out there and get off track and end up spending it or using it on something else. And it's important that you give what belongs to God to him. Uh, but secondly, why would he want you to settle something? In, in actuality, in context, he's talking about debts. He's talking about money issues. And the reason you want to settle these kinds of things where maybe greed, dishonesty, or even theft is really working in your heart because you don't want to pay the money that you owe to somebody, you have to understand how it's going to affect your heart. You say, well, I'm going to give over here and trust God to, to multiply this. Well, let me tell you something. God can only allow or, or bring about what you believe and facilitate in your heart. He's not, he, can't, he can't violate the beliefs of your heart. If you're operating in greed and theft over here with the brother, then the real truth is you have violated the primary factor that contributes to prosperity without trouble, and that is generosity. You're not generous just because you give a gift to God. And listen, I knew a businessman, came to my church one time. Man, I'll tell you, this guy was a giver. But I'm telling you, he was a con man. I'm telling you, he beat people everywhere out of money. He couldn't abide in righteousness, peace, and joy because he couldn't have peace for all the people he'd beaten out of money that were always suing him and trying to get their money back from him. But yet he was generous with God in his religious mind, giving kind of washed away all of this stuff over here. No, so when God tells you to do something else first, usually it's going to do something that's going to affect you in a way to get the maximum benefit of what you're doing. Because everything God says, He says to the, for the purpose of benefiting you and your relationship with Him.